What happens when you can craft items to go from completely normal to extremely giant? Let's go and find out. First, my goal is to craft a full set of giant armor where each piece will cause me to get bigger and bigger and, well, really big. Second, I have to successfully craft a full set of gigantic items where just one swing of a pickaxe can annihilate entire chunks. And last but not least, I have to try to fit my giant self into the end portal and once inside, try to defeat a gigantic dragon. Can I do it? Stay tuned to find out. And if you guys want to help me hit 3 million subscribers, go ahead and subscribe today and help us hit one whole like. Anyways, guys, enjoy the video. So everything in today's video is about to be very big. And of course, we have to start with a literal giant crafting table, which I'm not sure if it's going to be very big when we place it or if it's just going to be normal. Oh, oh, that's big. Okay. <laughs> when we right click the giant crafting table, now we can go ahead and make our first big item, which is going to be oddly enough, a giant hay bell. And when we place this thing down, uh, I'm not really sure what happens, but I'm going to make a stone hoe just in case before we do. So giant hay bell, what do you do? Oh, okay. <laughs> that is a lot of hay. And I guess that's how we're going to be getting a lot of the bread we need. What the heck? Um, That is a great introduction to today's challenge, which is going to be Minecraft. But everything we're going to be doing is literally just ginormous. And that might be a good thing or a very bad thing. So with that being said, stay tuned and let's go ahead and make our next giant item, which is going to be something very simple. And that's going to be a simple stone pickaxe. A big one, though. A giant stone pickaxe, which looks pretty normal so far, but it's definitely a lot bigger than our normal ones so when we put this one here oh gosh okay let me break this real quick that is such a cool thing literally a giant crafting table but we got the giant stone pickaxe now and when we mine stone oh okay wait what happens if i dig straight down oh oh okay let maybe we should go up this cave but at the same time it's kind of hard to really go through caves okay now we got a real cave so there's some iron right here so might as well mine the entire chunk why not well it's not really an entire chunk it's kind of more like a little big area but yeah this pickaxe is definitely a little bit overkill and actually i do need some coal so let me get that real quick. All right. And so with this coal right here, I think we can actually go ahead and make the next giant item, which is going to be a yet again, another weird one like the Wii. But this time, why not? Let's make a giant block of coal. And it kind of looks like a normal block of coal. So it might not be that bad. But with that being said, where do I place this? I guess I'll place this right here. All right. Oh, yeah. And yet again, we literally just get a giant block of coal. <laughs> oh my God. And just like that, we also have all the coal we'll ever need. One stack of blocks of coal and uh, might as well wind out. Let's go ahead and get all the furnaces we can. All right. So the good thing about all that coal is that, oh my gosh. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, no, no. Stay away. Please, 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 please. I'm trying to do a challenge. You only have one life. And if I die, then my channel gets deleted. That's actually not true. Please don't delete my channel. Anyways, because we have so much coal, I guess I might as well do this and this. I kind of want to make some iron stuff. So we might as well get that ready. And because it's a big area, might as well place down our chunky table. This thing is huge. Like, what the heck? All right. And so now with three iron, the next next thing we can go ahead and already make is gonna be the giant iron pickaxe which out again it's a pretty big iron pickaxe i'm pretty sure it's bigger than this stone pickaxe so they're definitely getting bigger and bigger these things are getting a little bit overkill but on the bright side let's go ahead and grab everything we got there and now for the giant iron pickaxe so how big is this gonna be oh okay um that was a lot of lag you guys maybe didn't see that but pretty much on the bright side we got a lot of iron but oh my gosh on the bright side i'm finding a lot of big caves so i might as well go here How's it going, Spider? I kind of need a better sword. So this might be actually a good time, too, to make our first giant sword, which is going to be literally a giant 999 attack damage iron sword. Wait, what the heck? Okay. That's a lot of damage. Wait, is this just going to one hit everything? All right. Well, literally, I one hit that skeleton. I mean, I'm not complaining, but okay. Oh, and some lapis. Nice. I kind of want to see if it can break bedrock, but at the same time, I don't want to fall into the void. Also, holy. But on the bright side, we did find diamonds over there. So let me real quick bridge over there. How do I mine these, though, with this pickaxe. Is this gonna work? Okay, yep, that is a lot of diamonds, a lot of cobblestone, and I'm also getting a lot of levels. Let me real quick. And just like that, five diamonds, not bad. All right. Oh, and more diamonds right here. Okay, what I need before I mine that is definitely a water bucket. So why not? Let's not make the good old-fashioned water bucket that everyone makes that's kind of boring. Instead, we're gonna make a giant bucket. This is actually maybe too big, but you know what? We're taking it. Let's go ahead and see what this thing can do, and let's get our giant crafting table back to you. Okay, let me uh, real quick. All right, now we gotta find water. I'm kind of scared of grabbing lava with this giant bucket so i think it might be a better idea if we get water instead because i definitely gotta get rid of all that oh and a mine shaft okay wait there might be something good here so let me real quick grab some string because i think i might be able to make a giant bow too literally everything in minecraft today is gonna be giant maybe even the dragon which uh not really sure if that's a thing but you know what if it is then we'll try to beat it also two times in chest not bad i'll take that all right so where is some water i need lots of water 
lots of good stuff, and then we go boom, boom, pow, pow. Oh, gold. Oh, there it is. Okay. So if this doesn't work, I'm going to assume I need to go to an ocean, but maybe? Oh, okay. We have a giant water bucket. Okay, that definitely worked. But now that we have that, let's go back to where those diamonds were. So is this going to work? We'll see. Oh, okay. Right. That is a lot of water. Oh, no. So the giant water bucket literally places down a giant thing of water, but it also takes away the diamonds. No. On the bright side, I still have seven diamonds, which actually, uh, before we do anything with the diamonds, I'm kind of curious. Actually, can we make big pants? Oh, my gosh. We can make big pants. We can make giant diamond leggings, which is a very big legging. So uh, I probably should have made a diamond pickaxe instead of like a giant one. But I mean, big pants. If you made this for in the video, comment down below big pants. So so what happens when we put on the giant diamond leggings? Do I even fit these? Oh. Oh, wait. We just got really big. Oh, my gosh. Wait, we're getting smaller? Then we're getting bigger. Okay. Why are we so big? Oh, wow. This is actually really weird. Um, On the bright side, we found some more diamonds, but it looks like we're getting bigger and bigger as we put on more diamond armor pieces that are big. Well, on the bright side, we got four more diamonds, and I guess I could make some big diamond boots, but at the same time, I'm kind of scared of getting a little bit too big. So maybe we should not make that just yet. Let's go ahead and use the string, and why not? Let's get a literal giant bow, which I'm not sure what it's gonna do, but I guess we'll go ahead and find out. Let's go ahead and grab the crab table. Boom, 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 boom. Where is the crab table? There we go. Yes. All right, giant bow. Oh my gosh, that arrow's huge. Okay, uh, I guess here goes nothing. Oh, wait, it's like an explosion. Okay, all right, and I definitely used an arrow there. Can, does it just break the wall? Oh, it does. Oh my gosh, that's actually really cool. All right, so let's place down that water right there because the next thing I kind of want to do is actually, let's see what happens when we get a giant lava bucket and place it down. So low key, I don't really want to get in lava and die. So I'm going to place it down right here and then go straight in the water. So three, two, one. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. That could have been very bad. I kind of want to do it again. We're doing it again. Nope, that was a bad idea. That was a very bad idea. We are not doing that again. And let's get some normal water like normal people. And maybe let's find another cave. So straight this way, maybe we can find a cave. Okay, being this big is not normal. And I feel so weird going through this cave right now. Like, what the heck am I supposed to do? I'm not small enough for this. Oh, oh. Okay, that could have been bad. I am taking way too much damage. Also, how's it going, spider? I'm kind of very big here. Also, I, do I even fit in here? All right, so new problem. I can't fit into the cave. I'm literally too big. And it's kind of getting a little bit too goofy being this big in a cave. But you know what? We're going to make it work. I can't really go down this cave because of the giant water bucket. But you know what? Let's take this off for now. Go back to normal size. And let's try and craft some more things now. So before we do anything else, I actually got to cook up a little bit more iron because I'm kind of curious if I can do a certain item in the giant form and then it'll help us a lot with getting a lot more items. And that may have been very vague, but don't worry, guys. It will, we'll get to it very soon. Also, some raw gold. Might as well do that. Get some gold and some more gold. Also, a giant golden apple might be a thing. So, I think gold might be very useful there. And what the next thing we got to make, I think it's going to be the giant iron block. Which, if I'm not wrong, it'll work just like the giant coal block. Which we might as well. Why not? Let's go ahead and make another giant coal block. I don't know why we need it, but we're going to place it down either way. So, let's place it down right here. Don't do anything bad. And look, look at that. Big old block. And now that we have the nine iron ingots, we might as well. Let's go ahead and get that giant iron block. And I guess I'll place it right here. This might be a really bad idea. But you know what? We're going for it. Go on. Okay. Yep. Yep. Just like the other one. A bunch of iron blocks. And what happens when I mine it like this? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Yep, that is that is a lot of iron blocks. That is definitely a lot of iron blocks. Don't mind if I do. I am going to real quick just grab this. 23 blocks of iron. And we're definitely not going to need iron blocks ever again. Can I make a giant anvil? I might not be able to do that, but might as well try. Why not? And oh, wait, giant anvil. Hold up. What What is a giant anvil? Oh, that is a lot of anvils. Wait. If we can get a giant anvil and it legit works just like the iron block, can we do that with any block? What about a giant crafting table? <gasps> Wait, this might actually work with every single block. Hold up, guys. I may have found a loophole. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's cool. That is very cool. I kind of need some lapis too, or maybe some redstone. Why not? This might be a really bad idea. Actually, no, there's no TNT in caves. I don't know why I thought TNT would be naturally in caves for some reason. Okay, yeah, that actually works. That's actually so cool. All right, well, we got a giant redstone, giant iron blocks, giant anvil, and you know what? Maybe there's a giant sub button right there that you guys can click right now and then boom sh shameless plug why not and uh might as well let's make another giant iron block just to have can we make a giant furnace why didn't i do this in the first place oh my gosh wait giant furnace so this whole time i had the furnaces right there when i could literally just have done that okay 
Yeah, that would have been a lot more useful earlier. I don't know why the furnace is there. But you know what? Let's go ahead and move on to the next item. And let's put my giant diamond leggings back on because I think I'm about to get a lot taller. So the next item I'm going to be making is not going to be the diamond boots, but instead I'm kind of curious. What is the ability of the giant diamond pickaxe? I mean, it's definitely going to be better than the iron one. So I guess I'll mine straight this way and let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Well, we can literally mine chunks now. I'm kind of not surprised, but at the same time, I'm just fascinated. Oh my gosh. We are getting a little bit too powerful. There are so many things out there. Also, so many diamonds. Oh, my computer can barely handle this. Okay. And like usual, guys, let me know a new title for this video in the comments down below. Honestly, what I'm thinking right now is just Minecraft, but Nestor's finally tall because I'm kind of like the shortest YouTuber, but you know what? It's all good. All right. So I think the new plan is going to be probably make a giant golden block or a giant diamond block. I'm not even sure what to make next. Okay. So on the bright side, wait, can I make a giant torch? Oh, oh gosh. Okay. This might be a mistake. Day, guys my computer might crash if i place this down but giant torch here we go oh actually kind of beautiful well giant torch right there if you guys want to know how a giant torch looked like but well, there, there you go and i think we might be done there with all the giant stuff i think it might be time we make our next giant thing which is gonna be the giant diamond oh my gosh that is so much damage i didn't finish my sentence wait okay so this does 999 attack damage and then the diamond sword does literally 99,999 attack damage that is just way too op what the heck we'll see what the final boss is but this is a little bit too much. What the heck? Because we're talking about damage, can we make a giant shield? We can't make a giant shield, but having a shield is good either way. How big is a shield anyways? Compared to me, it's still pretty big, so I'll take it. Now that we have the diamond sword, what we need to do is uh, definitely try it out, that's for sure. But I first gotta find a mob somewhere. So where can we go? I guess we could go straight up or we can just mine this. Oh my gosh. Okay, that may have been a mistake. This, uh, this video has definitely gone a little bit too crazy in a matter of like 10 minutes. We've escalated very quickly and that is for sure. And I think ever since we made our first giant thing of hay bales. We've now literally made a giant tunnel of just uh, chunks, which I only got eight diamonds from, which is kind of a scam. But something I could do in the meantime is why not? Let's see what happens when I make a, oh my gosh. Okay. That's big. A giant diamond chest plate, which is going to be like a normal diamond chest plate. But am I going to get bigger when I put this thing on? Oh no. Oh yeah. I'm getting very big now. That might be a little bit of a problem, but at the same time, I kind of want to see how big I can really get. So we're going to go ahead and get as many diamonds as we can, which I'm actually getting none right now. Oh, diamonds right there. Okay, there we go. And with that, we have 10 diamonds, which I think is the perfect amount that we need. So let's real quick get away from here. Actually, it might be smarter if we go all the way up. Yeah, this just does not look right. Can I swim like this? Oh, wow. Oh, we swim quick. Oh, gosh. We are so big. What the heck? All right. Well, let's place this thing down. Why not? Kind of looks like a normal crafting table now since we're getting so big. But without further ado, let's try to see what the final size is going to be with our giant diamond boots. And we can't forget about the giant diamond helmet too. So let's put this thing on. Oh gosh, we're already getting a little bit bigger. So now we're this big. Oh my goodness. And with the final piece of giant armor, this thing looks so goofy, even in my inventory. Oh my, we are the size of the mountain. Okay. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to play the rest of this challenge like this, but at the same time, I feel like it'd be entertaining. So I'm going to try to do this as long as I can. But before we do anything else, I think the next goal we should go for is definitely a giant golden apple. All right. So we got 36 raw gold. That should be hopefully enough. All right. So what we got to do now, now is straight up make a giant furnace and then we place it down and there we go we got a furnace fit for me that should be enough for us to make a giant golden block which is going to be the next thing we make i also need a lot of apples how do i get a lot of apples actually wait where is my crafting table okay it's down there can i make a giant axe actually uh no it's just a normal diamond axe dang it okay i'm gonna have to get apples the old-fashioned way but i think we should be able to make a lot of gold at least all right so we got 10 gold ingots so now we should be able to make one gold block which is gonna be a very big giant block of gold. So I guess I'll just place it right here. Why not? Okay. Yep. Yep. That never gets old. And just like that. Oh gosh. I should have probably not done it like that. And just like that, we have 24 blocks of gold, which is definitely going to be more than enough. Actually a lot less than I thought it was going to be, but I'm not really going to complain. And actually I think it might be a good time right now if we get a little bit smaller, but you know what? I kind of made a promise that I couldn't go smaller. So we're going to stay this size. And now with all these blocks of gold, I think we should be able to finally make now one really 
really big golden apple, I think. Oh, yep. That's big. Yep. Literally a giant golden apple. The only giant golden apple we can really make. So what happens when I eat this? Oh my gosh, it's so big. It covers my screen. Holy. Oh, wow. Yep. Jump boost and absorption. Water breathing. Look, hero of the village. Speed, strength, re resistance, regeneration, haste, fire resistance. All level 10 for literally five minutes. That's a little bit overkill, but I'm not going to complain. And also, I think one thing I'm going to do before doing anything else is actually go back to normal size because I got to mine this thing. Oh my goodness, I have so many potion effects. This is kind of overwhelming. And now that we have all of this, I think the next goal might be to actually go to the nether or get some more apples. So before we do that, let's actually head all the way back up and maybe get some sugarcane too. I'm not sure if I need enchants. Actually, everything's already enchanted for me, so we should be fine for now. But oh my goodness, jump boost 10 is quite the thing right now. Where do we head? Uh, I guess we'll go over there. All right, so we got 17 red apples. And with that, I think we should be able to make a good bit of golden apples. So real quick, let's go ahead and do that. And not really sure why I'm making all these, but you know what? Why not? 10 giant gold apples, just like that. And these things are so big. Okay. And the next thing I really need to make definitely before we go to the nether and all that good stuff is going to be a giant block of diamond. And why we need a giant block of diamond? Actually, before we do anything, I'm going to go giant real quick. And let's see how big this thing really is. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm literally as tall as a giant block of diamond. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh no, that may have been a bad idea. Well, there goes all the diamonds, but technically with the giant block of diamonds, we can go ahead and make three more giant block of diamonds and yeah, just, just everything's diamonds now, but maybe let's not be giant real quick. Let, 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 let's be just a little bit bigger. All right. I'm going to mine this real quick and then we can get all the diamonds and then I think we should be good to go to the nether, get the eyes of ender, get the blaze powder, get the boom, get the pals and the boom, comment down, boom. There you go. Anyways, uh, let's grab this real quick. And actually I'm kind of really curious. This might be a bit of a risk guys, but what if I try to MLG water bucket clutch while being giant? This is a little bit too goofy, but let's go for it. Three, two, one. Oh, I almost died. Okay, um, we're, we're never gonna try that again, and I forgot that my water bucket does not work like that. Okay, um, anyways, let's go ahead and take this armor off one more time, and I guess it's time to start heading to the nether, and we'll see how things go. As long as I don't die, I should be fine. I feel like it'd be kind of fitting if I make a giant nether portal, but at the same time, can I mine a lot of obsidian this way? They actually call me the fastest obsidian miner in Minecraft, and anyone that said that I wasn't is honestly lying, and I will be filing a lawsuit against them because I am the fastest obsidian miner. There we go. I want to get as much obsidian as I can, though, because my plan is I want to get into the nether portal literally as a giant nester. Okay, so this took way too long, but we finally got a big enough portal for me to fit inside of. And without further ado, guys, let's light the big giant portal and let's go inside. Oh gosh, okay, that worked. Um, all right, so we're in the nether now and what we need to find is some blaze rods and some ender pearls, which might not be a good idea to be this big. Oh gosh, I'm going so quick in the nether. Okay, I haven't touched lava yet somehow. Oh, okay. All right, we found a fortress. Just Slowly but surely, I am literally the height of the fortress. This is so weird. Okay, um, just a couple blazes would be appreciated. And then I guess I'll use my giant bow. Is this going to break the spotter? Oh, um, well, let's go find another one. All right, so this time I'm not actually going to blow it up. Oh, there they are. Okay, how's it going, guys? <gasps> Oh my gosh. Okay, apparently this thing has looting too, and I forgot it one hits everything. So just like that, we have 21 blaze rods. And I think I'm gonna get out of here because I'm getting set on fire. Wait, can I place water in the nether? Nope, I cannot. That is definitely a definite no. So with that being done, I guess what all we need to do now is just find a piglin and get all the ender pearls we can. So where is a piglin when you need them? Okay, so we got enderman there, or oh, I can just want it an enderman for a lot of ender pearls. Wait, this might work. Oh my gosh! And just like that, 10 ender pearls, which I'm definitely gonna be taking back to the overworld. I think we might be done here though. Actually, no, let me kill one more. Uh, how's it going, buddy? You're gonna die now. Okay, it feels so weird seeing them being so small, but you know what? It's all good. 28 ender pearls is definitely gonna be enough, so I think we should be good to go back now. All right, so now to find the portal. Okay, so the hardest part about this challenge is definitely being so big, because it's so hard to get from point A to point B really quickly. But on the bright side, we're back now, and something I didn't realize until now is that there's actually something better than giant items, and they're called mega items. And the first mega item we're gonna be going for is gonna be the mega bow. And to make a mega bow, I actually need some strings. So where can I find a quick mine shaft? I guess I can just go ahead and mine that and let's hope for the best. Literally the only way I can find mine shafts is by digging entire chunks. All right, come on. One of these has to have a mine shaft, please game. Uh, anything good? <gasps> I think we found one. Yes, I think I definitely gotta get a little bit smaller for this part of the video. So let's get a little bit, you know, back to normal size. And now let's actually go explore this mine shaft, get as much string as we can and then make what is called a mega bow. So what I need 
speed is three times nine string, which is going to be 27 string. I also can do level 30 enchantments, even though I don't really need to. Oh, Enderman. More Enderpearls. Why not? There we go. How much string do I have so far? 23. Okay. It's still a little bit more that I need, and then we should be good. Oh my gosh. Wait, I forgot. I don't have any armor. And I am definitely getting out of here before I die. So before anything, I think we need nine total giant bows in total. So, oh wait, no, I made the wrong type of bows. Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh no, I got to get more string now. Okay. Give me one second, guys. Let's get the string again. Holy, I'm dumb. All right, let's actually not mess up this time. One, two, three. That should be enough now. And with nine giant bows, I think we get, I guess, a giant giant bow. Oh, it's a mega bow. Oh gosh. Okay. So this is a giant bow and this is a mega bow. So they're literally the same size, but I'm going to guess they do something different. So let me not make the mistake of accidentally breaking something. All right. So what does the giant bow do? Oh, oh, that's a big arrow. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're definitely gonna be fighting the dragon like this. That is insane. Just like that, we got a very good giant bow. And the next thing we can actually make is with these 10 super golden apples, we can actually use nine and get a, whoa, that is really big. A giant enchanted golden apple, which uh, I don't know what this thing is gonna do. Low key, I don't even wanna eat it yet until I fight the dragon. So I guess stay tuned to see that. And we're definitely not done there though, because I after that, I guess what we can make next is going to be the rest of the giant items, which you can probably guess that they're going to take a lot of diamonds. So before we do that, let's get our full set of diamond armor and I guess start mining some chunks. And just like that, I have no idea where the diamonds went. I'm going to guess I'm picking them up. All right, 17 diamonds, not bad. And I think that should be good enough. So let's head all the way back up. Holy, we swim so fast. By the way, normal crafting table, giant crafting table. And now let's go ahead and, oh gosh, wait, um, that actually sent me flying. It's your typical normal giant golden block. Let's uh mine a little bit of that real quick and definitely need my diamond blocks in. Oh gosh, I gotta go all the way back down, don't I? 53 blocks of diamond. That is definitely more than enough. Let's head all the way back up. All right, so now what we need is definitely a bunch of double chests. And honestly, the most fun way of getting a bunch of double chests is... Wait, giant oak planks. What? Okay, just for science, guys. Why not? Boom. Literally making like a little mini base. There we go. Giant wooden planks. Anyways, what I was supposed to be making is, uh, because I'm a little bit curious, let's uh, get a giant chest. And when we place down the giant chest, oh yeah, that might be a little bit too laggy. Let's not look in that direction. Let's do this the old fashioned way. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be making is a giant massive netherite pickaxe. And we apparently don't even need netherite to make it. So instead of that, we're actually going to be making nine giant diamond pickaxes first. So let's go to make nine of these and final diamond pickaxe and then we get not a bigger diamond pickaxe but a massive netherite pickaxe which i think we might as well go ahead and try it out right now i'm kind of scared of breaking everything so let's go far away real quick to use it i guess we'll mine something right here i'm not really sure what it's gonna do but here we go oh gosh oh gosh have i made a mistake oh no oh no oh no my computer froze <gasps> Oh my gosh! Well, we found some glow squids, and we also found every ore in Minecraft. Oh my gosh! So with that being done right there, let's go ahead and make the next mega items. And the next one is gonna be the giant diamond sword. So we're gonna be needing nine of these. So, uh, and I guess we'll now see what this thing exactly does. I'm not sure what to expect, but yep. Just like the diamond pickaxe one becoming netherite, we're gonna be making all these giant diamond swords with 99,000 damage. Now become, I'm gonna guess, a million? Wait, a thousand? Oh, wait, I see now. I mean, we really don't need that much damage. But what we get now, instead of 99,000, we get plus 30 reach and plus 30 attack range. So, uh, we now have a massive netherite sword. And I kind of want to test this thing out, but there's no mobs around us. So we might have to wait until we fight the dragon. And now we have yet another item, which I kind of realized we didn't really have to get this many ender pearls because once we have nine ender pearls, we can actually make a giant ender pearl. And with the ender pearl, uh, I'm not sure what happens here, but I guess we'll throw it. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, oh, it's like a bomb. Okay. <laughs> that was actually kind of cool. I'm actually going to go back here. And because it kind of is like a bomb, I'm going to real quick make 16 giant ender pearls and I could legit just do boom, boom. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, we got to get more of these. I'm going to make as many bombs as I can. Three sacks of giant ender pearls. There we go. Don't mind if I do. And we're not done there because now that we have all these ender pearls, the next thing we can go out and make is going to be simply a giant eye of ender. And I'm not really sure what this thing's going to do. So I guess we'll find that out very soon. And I think that should be all the items that we're going to be needing to fight the dragon. So with all that being done, guys, I think 
think it might be time we start heading to the stronghold to see what we can do against a dragon and finally test out what the massive netherite sword does and what the giant enchanted golden apple also does. So without further ado, let's get out the giant eye of Ender and see what it does. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's taking me straight to the stronghold. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. I just realized I'm a big old giant on top of a little eye vendor. 50 more blocks and oh, there we go, guys. Okay. And I was going to say we need a bunch of eyes of vendor, but it literally dropped a whole stack of them. Also a netherite sword, a completely normal one. All right. So now how do I get down? I really don't want to break the portal, but at the same time, I might as well risk it. Why not? Let's go ahead and mine just one dirt block. Please don't be the portal down there. Oh, okay. That could have been bad. All right. So just for this, I think I'm going to have to take off my armor real quick. So let's uh, put off the armor for one second down we go and now we just got to find the portal room oh here we go guys okay what do i break this with oh gosh okay uh here we go and luckily i have a whole stack of eyes of ender that don't don't question them we're just gonna go with it and now all that's left to do guys is go inside and put on my giant armor and then see what we can do against a dragon this might be a really quick dragon fight so without further ado wish me luck guys and here we go okay good thing i didn't go in here with the giant armor i would have suffocated let's head all the way up i kind of made a little bit of a mistake but we should be good now anyways though let's Let's put on the giant armor. Oh gosh, here we go. This is it, guys. So before anything, let's go ahead and eat this giant enchanted golden apple and see what it does. Oh gosh, that's big. Oh, wait. Low key wasn't that good besides the amount of extra hearts I get. Let's actually eat a giant golden apple. This might be a little bit better. So giant golden apple. There we go. Now we get the jump boost. Oh my gosh. That's going to be one. That's going to be two. Oh gosh, these are so big. I've almost killed the dragon. Guys, the dragon is almost dead. This is going to be the quickest fight ever. Wait, I haven't even tried out the sword. All right, dragon. I guess this is going to be the final hit in three two one i missed oh gosh let's go back up i'm so big what was this video and with all that being done guys that is gonna be it for minecraft but pretty much everything is incredibly giant and oh my gosh what the heck was this video so with all that being done guys hope you guys all enjoyed have a great one and here's a video just like this one bye guys